College Library. We have on the dais with us today Dr. Neeraj Kumar Singh, Deputy Librarian, Punjab University, Chandigarh, Principal Dr. Ajay Sharma, Regiment of Hindi, and Dr. Gurpreet Singh, Head, College Library. And with this, I request Principal Sir to extend a green welcome to Speaker of the Day, Dr. Neeraj Kumar Singh. This portal तो government ने बनाया हुआ है हमारा नहीं है पर हमारा जो registration है वो कर दी और आपको दिखाने का purpose ये है कि जितने भी हमारे teachers हैं वो इसके ऊपर registered हुए तो कि NIRF और NAC अब online artificial intelligence use करते हुए ही हम सब का जो data base क्या करें तो उन्होंने यही नाम suggest किया कि भी पूरी university का वही कर रहे हैं one of the professors is telling me that I didn't know anything about it. They didn't know what they did. They didn't know what they did. They didn't know what they did. And they changed things from one to one. Then I swear to you, Gurpreet has come to one 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 to one. So I'm happy today he is here. And especially you know that I have delayed my classes. It's only because all of you should be available here. And we all should be on the same platform. तीन चार साल पहले भी हमने इस तरह का प्रोग्राम एक ऑफलाइन करवाया था जब इंटरनेट से प्रोफेसर आए थे लेकिन हम उसको प्रैक्टिकली कन्वर्ट नहीं कर पाए वो रूसा के अंदर हुआ था आई रिमेम्बर दैट और कोविड के दौरान भी हमने नीरज जी को और लोगों को सिमिलर टॉपिक पर रिक्वेस्ट की ऑनलाइन प्रोग्राम्स हुए भी लेकिन फिर मैं कहूंगा जो हम करना चाहते वहां हम पहुंचे नहीं तो आज की वर्कशॉप इसलिए हमने स्पेशली रखी है एक बार समझें व्हाट इज एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ़ अस एंड हाउ टू डू इट और खास तौर पर आप सबको पता है विद इन 10 20 डेज वी आर गोइंग टू सबमिट द एसएसआर रिपोर्ट कल भी क्रिटेरिया थर्ड के ऊपर मैडम दुबा और डॉक्टर बत्रा और हम सब बैठे थे वो लुकिंग एट द डाटा अवेलेबल तो ये भी लगा कि शायद वो क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं वो इस वर्कशॉप के बाद नीरज कुमार सिंह जॉइंड पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी इन द ईयर 2007 एंड ही इस प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एस डेप्टी लाइब्रेरियन एट एसी जोशी लाइब्रेरी पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी एंड ही इस वर्किंग देयर एस डेप्टी लाइब्रेरियन सिंस द ईयर 2018 ही ओब्टेन्ड एमएससी केमिस्ट्री � he pursued his doctorate from Punjab University Chandigarh on the topic Radio Frequency Identification Technology Application in Libraries and Information Centers of Northern India various national and international journals in the field of library information system. He is also the university coordinator of Urkund which is the anti-plagiarism software and he is also teaching at the same time the library information related courses at USOL, Punjab University and IGNU Regional Center at Punjab University, Chandigarh. And because of his vast expertise and knowledge, he has also acted as a resource person in various national FDPs, workshops, conferences and training programs organized by various institutions of national and international repute. It is a privilege for us to have you amongst us today, sir. And with this, we also have the launch of the IRINS portal scheduled for today. IRINS, which stands for the Indian Research Information Network System. Education activity of faculty, scientists and research scholars of the college or institutions. The major features of this portal are, it supports the integration of existing academic identities such as ORCID, Scopus ID, Google Scholar, Publons and Researcher ID. It serves as a search tool to get visualized performance of any individual, department or college. It works as a common platform across the all academic and research institutions in the Indian higher education sector. It can be used as an instrument for policy makers and government to identify expertise available and trust areas of research and research gap and define their policies on research funding accordingly. The IRINS portal is a valuable, valuable asset to have and will, will enrich academic acti activities of the institution. Other faculty member of the organizing committee for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to deliver talk on a very relevant topic as sir has rightly said, research visibility and measuring the impact of scientific publication. 
We all know that these research publications, they are considered as an intellectual asset of any individual or any institution. That is why whenever we are applying for any ranking agencies, whether it is NIRM, Times Higher Education Ranking or QS Ranking, one of the important parameters is institution that I will also share with Gurpe that if faculty member they can enter the basic details in that particular Excel file, the InfluentNet Center will help you in terms of bulk uploading the faculty profile in this IRI and S portal. And for your information, now it is mandatory by the UGC that all the faculty member they must create their research profile in IRINS or with one database. And if you are applying for any fund university also, as soon as this article got published, so our university has shared the news that these are the 11 scientists from Punjab University who are featured in this elite list of top 2% scientists in the world. But what happened that many senior professors who are very good researcher and if you see their Scopus profile, they have published more research paper as compared to these 11 scientists. So they approached, they met vice chancellor, even they also contacted the dean Disser, that how it is possible that I am having a good number of research paper which is published in the Scopus journal and my name is not featured in this list. So dean research asked me to submit a report on this particular issue. So I have read this article twice and thrice and even I have contacted the corresponding author. Then I come to know that this is the formula which they have applied in terms of ranking the top 2% scientists in the world. Right? And if you see this formula and if you see the parameters, all these parameters, they belong to the concept of research visibility and impact of your research in terms of citation, H index and other metrics. So what I did, I have extracted the data from the Scopus and again, I have used this formula and communicated with the corresponding author of this particular author. And this study was conducted by a team of Stanford scientists. And after calculating the score, which they have given a composite score, I have informed them that it is not only 11 faculty members of Punjab University who got featured in your list. You have to update your data because still there are 16 faculty members who are having higher composite index as compared to the other faculty member of Punjab University. And they have updated their data and after updating the data, again Punjab University has published the news that it was not only 11 faculty members. There are total 27 scientists from Punjab University who spent version. And once it is published with any journal, that is called publisher version. Now what you have to do is, whatever tool I am going to explain you in, in, in my upcoming slide, first you have to check the copyright policy. And there is only source in the world which can give you the correct information of all the publisher's copyright policy. There is no need to go to individual publisher or journal website to do research in various social academic networking website. That means you are enhancing the access of your research, right? And it's a proven fact that if you will increase the access, the people will start downloading your research paper. And once they will start downloading your research paper, and if you have published the quality material, definitely they will give citation to your research paper. And once you will start receiving the citation for your research, you never know that whenever the Stanford team, they will conduct a similar type of a study, you will find your name in the Stanford list of top 2% scientists in the world, right? Now, what is basically a research visibility? In a simpler word, research visibility is basically categorized into three parts. The first is, first is, suppose you have published your research paper in any journal. So first thing which you have to do is start searching your paper on Google. And if Google is not giving you result about your research publication, that means basically you are not making much effort in terms of making your research visible. Even in a Google Scholar, there is an option 
where you can index your research paper if google scholar is not indexing the journal content so the first thing is which every researcher as soon as they publish their research paper you enter the title and just try to see whether google is giving the result or not the second is it's called professional e visibility we all we are using various social networking website facebook instagram and there are many so whenever the papers the researcher they are publishing in various journals and majority of these articles they never received any citation so that is why there is a need to make your research visible and once you will start making your research visible that means you are basically increasing the access of your research publication even if you are publishing your research with say and you know about the concept of research visibility that is why we all know that these research paper they are very important parameter not only for your selection but whenever we are applying for our promotion under cs of ugc regulation there also it is clearly mentioned that the faculty members they have to publish research paper but what is happening is thousands of paper are publishing on a day to day basis and all these papers are reputed published in reputed journals but what is happening even if you are publishing your research paper in scopus index or sci index journal that does not give you a guarantee that you will start receiving the citation right so the reason is until and so making their research visible the academic community is not going to access your research paper they are not going to download your paper and once they will not downloading your paper it means you will not receive the citation for your research paper that is why the basic objective of today's lecture is to give you a brief understanding about the concept of research visibility and what are the tools available which faculty member they can use in terms of making their research visible that is why the major object mandatory for all the faculty member who are working in higher educational institution that you have to create your expert profile in these two databases right sure. so with this that this is one of the study which was published in 2020 and as soon as this article was published in this plus one journal which is very reputed journal in the field of medical sciences majority of faculty member they start realizing the concept of research visibility and impact of their research because in the college cap and will help us in future and i now invite pratibha ma'am to please come forward and propose ka vyakhyan bahut vishesh vyakhyan raha kyunki mera ye manna hai ki jo hamare beech mein charcha ka vishay rehta hai ki research se related kya hona chahiye kaise hona chahiye hame kahan apne research publish karni hai publish karte hue kin kin samasyaon se hum joochte hain sir ne un अपने रिसर्च को कैसे विजिबल किया जाए उसके माध्यम से हम कैसे लाभान्वित हो सकते हैं और अन्य शोधार्थी उससे कैसे लाभ प्राप्त कर सकते हैं इन सभी विषयों पर भी आज चर्चा हुई है मैं अपनी तरफ से और अपने एस टी फैकल्टी की तरफ से डॉक्टर नीरज जी का हार्दिक धन्यवाद करती हूँ कि उन्होंने उन सभी मुद्दों पर प्रकाश डाला जो शायद आज के आज हमारी बहुत जरूरत है आज केवल शोधार्थी ही नहीं अध्यापकों को भी रिसर्च से जुड़े रहना हमारी आवश्यकता बन गई है मैं पुनः पूरी एसटी परिवार की तरफ से डॉक्टर नीरज जी का हार्दिक धन्यवाद करती हूँ